please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody, so it's time for another episode of my Enforcer Hall of Fame series where I look back on the careers of some of the greatest enforcers in the history of the NHL and induct them into my Enforcers Hall of Fame, which I created because they obviously will never get into the Hockey Hall of Fame because they were there to fight, not exactly put up a lot of points. So today we are going to be putting in a player who did not spend a very long time in the league, played less than 500 games, was only in the league for seven seasons, but put up a massive number of fighting majors and a massive number of penalty minutes. And that player is Jay Miller, formerly of the Boston Bruins and LA Kings. Um, so Jay Miller was one of the Bruins' best enforcers of the late 80s and uh, went to the Kings in the, uh, 1989 and for the early 90s. So Jay Miller uh, did not play very long in the league, but man, did he fight 446 career games, 40 goals, 44 assists for 84 career points, but a whopping 1,723 penalty minutes in just those 446 games. He also had a career 174 fights combined between the regular season and the playoffs. Um, Massive number of fights there uh, for a guy who was only in the league for seven seasons. Uh, just almost 200 fights in less than 10 years. Miller was obviously not shy at all about dropping the gloves. His most active season fight-wise came with the Boston Bruins in 1987-88 where he had 40 fights for the Bruins that year, 33 in the regular season, and another 7 fights in the playoffs. So obviously that was a massive, massive year fight-wise for Jay Miller and the most he ever uh, had in a season. Uh, his best offensive season in the NHL came in 1990-91 with the LA Kings. He scored 20 points that year, 8 goals and 12 assists. Obviously, he was not in the, uh, in the lineup to be a point scorer, to score goals or points. He was there to drop the gloves. Um, some career highlights. Jay Miller had 200 penalty minutes or more. Every single season he played in the NHL except for his rookie year. Six times he had he went over the 200 penalty minute mark out of the seven seasons that he played. The only year he did not was his rookie season. And he went over the 300 penalty minute mark twice in his career in back-to-back -back years. 87-88 with Boston and then 88-89 which he split between the Bruins and the Kings. Uh, those were his two 300 penalty minute seasons. So he spent 1985 to 1989 with the Boston Bruins. Uh, that's who he came into the league with. He's from Massachusetts. He was a hometown guy. And uh, he was their top enforcer there for, for a three and a half year period in the late 80s. Um, in the, during the 1988-89 uh, season, he was traded to the LA Kings mid-season. And he played with the Kings from 89 to uh, 1992. And uh, then was out of the league after that. But he was a very, very tough player. Um, took on the biggest and baddest, toughest guys around the league. Um, he was he was a top enforcer everywhere he went. Uh, obviously, not shy about dropping the gloves. To to have 174 fights in in only seven seasons in the NHL, and obviously some of those are playoff fights, but. Um, just to have that drop the gloves that many times in only seven years in the NHL. I mean, most guys who play 15 years don't have 174 fights. So Miller was obviously uh, very, very active when it came to dropping the gloves, and he fought the biggest and toughest guys on on every team. 1,700 penalty minutes in, all, in less than 500 games. That that's about all you need to know right there about Jay Miller. Um, and, and obviously having 40 fights in a single season, that's a lot of dropping the gloves. So Jay Miller certainly belongs in the Enforcer Hall of Fame. He's there now. He's my uh, next inductee and um, just a, a great fighter for the Bruins and Kings in his career. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.